you've had uh, talked about the struggle scoring around the rim, and now you have a big tree that's around the rim. <laughs> I told uh, told her on my radio show last night. Uh, I'm gonna check with the NCA, and I'm gonna get. I think I'm gonna buy Taco Fall graduation present. He might already, I know he's a great student, so I think, think he might already be graduated, but uh, definitely interested in getting him a graduation present when, when time comes. Now, he, he's a great kid. He's worked really hard. I'm glad he's healthy. You know, I'm glad Central Florida's been healthy all year. They're having a great year, and it's great for our league. Uh, but, uh, you know, as long as it, you got a 7 6 guy standing around the rim, it's going to be hard to score. So, you, you know, you got, you got to do different things. You got to try to get him to move around a little bit. But Coach Dawkins does a great job of, of uh, the way he utilizes uh, Taco. That being said, I, their whole team, they're the oldest team that will play all year. I mean, they, they play all juniors and seniors. So, and, and some, some, the BJ's in his fifth year. Allen's are starting guard. He's in his, he's a fourth year junior. Uh, so they're, they're an extremely old team, uh, which means that they, they, they're physical. Nothing's going to rattle them. It's hard to rattle them. So uh, they're a challenge. I mean, they, there's a reason they were picked to win our league. He's never really hurt you dramatically with his numbers. but he's Yeah, just there. I, yeah I would say the, 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 the taco effect is not shown in the numbers. You know, that if the game slows down and he's standing by the rim, it's the shock and awe effect sometimes for your players. Uh, and what it does is it, it doesn't show in his numbers, but it allows them to really be aggressive defending the three-point line, knowing that, you're, that, it, that if, when they run at you, if you drive by them, that Taco's standing in the lane. So the Taco effect is shown in their field goal percentage defense, not his statistics. Since, since Coach Dawkins has been there and done a tremendous job with their program, putting in toughness, defense, competing to win, he's done a great job. He's a great guy, got great respect for, for him. Uh, but when you know he's back there, it allows you to really be aggressive at the three-point line with your defense. So uh, it's not all in his numbers. I know you probably don't want to give too much away, but does having that there make you want to go smaller, play faster? Or well, I mean, everybody that prepares for them, I'm not, I'm not giving this away, would tell you they would prefer to score before their defense gets set. But that's no different than what they're, they're going to say about us. <laughs> now, we, do, you know, we may not have Taco standing by the rim, but it's no different than what you're going to say when you play Houston. Uh, so when you're playing teams that are really hard to score against, whomever their, their, their center is, or however they play defense, uh, you'd rather score in transition. So that, that's not really giving anything away, but that's a lot easier said than done now. You know, when you got B.J. Taylor taking care of the ball, Terrell Allen taking care of the ball, you know, those guys are really effective, strong, they got size. Uh, the difference in their team this year is they shoot the ball much better. You know, with B.J. being healthy all year, Aubrey Dawkins playing, you're bringing guys off the bench that started last year, Griffin, DeJesus at times. Uh, Colin Smith can make a shot, who sat out for them last year. The Juco guy, Berg, they say shoot the ball better this year. I say, you know, they, they were always a great defensive team since Coach Dawkins has been there. Uh, they just, they, they make more shots. You always try to keep teams off the line, but this team gets there a lot. Very good point. I don't know where they, I hadn't looked, at, we were just like, I just came running down, we've been busy, so. Um, I, they, I know this, in a league play, they've shot 123, more than their opponents, that's in 12 games, so. You know, they're shooting 10 more, 10 more free throws a game in just conference play than their opponents. BJ's shooting eight a game in conference play. Uh, does a great job, like Jaron, veteran player, knows how to use his body. Uh, very good with the ball, getting to the line. But uh, yeah, their free throw discrepancy is enormous. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's enormous, that's a problem. So something's got to give with that. Because uh, you can't let them just pound you inside. Taco, get a, you know, get a bunch of dunks and free throws. You're not gonna win.
you guys are traditionally good at keeping teams off the line. Easier said than done against them, I think. Yeah, you know. Well, you know, taco around the rim, sometimes the only chance you got is just fouling. And like I said, you know, B BJ does a great job of, of getting fouled, uh, does a tremendous shoot. You've got one player shooting eight a game. It's pretty impressive. Trey had eight boards the other night. I know his numbers on rebound have been up and down. We've talked about that. Is there something when he does have good numbers that you see that he's doing well? Our offense is better when he gets offensive rebounds. Um, you know, there's no substitute for the second shot. You know, it's the oldest thing in basketball that, uh, you know, all these studies come from the pros because they, got, they don't have to worry about guys going to class and they got all the analytics people. But the average team shoots 28% on their first shot. It goes up into the 40s on your second shot and then the 50s on your third. So, uh, you know, when Trey Scott gives us offensive rebounding, it, it helps our offense immensely, immensely. Uh, well, I thought his diving on the floor and his energy level uh, was excellent the other night. You know, I think, you know, he and Nasir didn't have their best night, obviously, offensively. And I want to get our fans away from that because if it wasn't for their defense all year, you know, Nasir had, I think, five blocks and he would have had eight if our guards wouldn't reach in when he's about to block a shot. Uh, so if it wasn't for their defense, we wouldn't be 21 and four. So everything's not about scoring. The, obviously, you're trying to improve all the time and getting the ball in the basket, but, you know, Trey shoots 48%, Nasir shoots 53 so I don't know where we'd be without him. I know we're 21-4 and four with him, so try to look at, you know, you got to praise guys for their, their, their defensive effort, is because that they can, they can control that. And then you just keep trying to get better as you get more minutes as an offensive player. And, you know, they've both gone through that all year this year. Central Florida points per game defensively is up. Is that just a matter of their playing? They shoot it better. Pace? No, I th they shoot it much better. They shoot a higher percentage. I mean, defensively, they're allowing more than they have in the past. Probably they score, you know, scoring more, playing their bench more. Uh, I'd have to look at their tempo. I haven't, you know, their, whatever that may be. Uh, but I would say that, it, it, you know, it's all a direct reflection of the fact they put more guys on the floor that can make shots. So that, because it's harder then to help them pack it in on Taco. You got to remember that last year, they, 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 BJ only played a little bit. Taco was in and out, and Aubrey didn't play. You know, and Terrell Allen has really improved. I'm very impressed with him. He's got like 90 something assists to 30 something turnovers. He only shoots good shots. His shot selection is really good. Uh, he's, he's a much better player than. Uh, you know, last year was his first year after transferring. So, um, you know, but they just got better players. I'd say that's the main thing. So they're scoring more. How's Taco's stamina? I mean, did you try to run it up and down on him, or is he okay with that? Or? Nah, he's a senior. I, I, I don't. I think he, 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 his substituting is more out of foul trouble than stamina. I don't think stamina is an issue for him. I, I, you know, like if I was a pro scout. That would not be a concern of mine for him. Now, defending the three-point line in the NBA and how he would deal with pick and rolls would be, but uh, I don't think that's an issue at all for him. I think he's for a guy his size, he's in tremendous shape. He comes out of the game for foul trouble. Yeah, I, I don't ever see him taking him out because he's tired. 